ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Spin Tires. We are back on the volcano map. No save problems this time. So, looks good to go. Um, oh, come on, come on. There you go, a little bit harder. There you go, okay. Oof, ah, that was close. Alright. Apparently driving around the cooking. Um, and he cloaked a little area while uh, we weren't playing or recording. So just uh, if you can look at the map here, this I decloaked this little area here. Doesn't look like there's anything terribly interesting in there. I can't remember if the trucks just show up after, say if there's like a truck in a cloaked area, if it shows up after you decloak it, or if you actually have to drive over to where it's at. So I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Like I said, memory. Alright, memory problems, so can't remember. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case or not. Okay, I'm turning the right direction. Towards the cloak. Oh gosh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is a lake or something over there. Something nice looking. Let's see, where are we at here? That's a good That's a good one. Keep that. There we go. Uh, that's a good lake or something with the, the cooking better not be. Am I heading towards it? That's heading away from it, so this must be the right direction. So we are um as I said, still playing with recording settings. I noticed the last Minecraft upload looked a little choppy once I got it on YouTube, so I'm still playing with uh, editing and recording, so thanks for bearing with me on the kind of variable quality of things of late. So hopefully we'll get it nailed down and I'll get the new everything sorted out. Let's see. Well, it's definitely in there somewhere. Alright. Tally ho. Our bag up here. Oh, wow, we switched to a actual useful camera angle for that. Fantastic. Okay, cool deal. Yeah, okay, that puts you right on top. Okay, figured that out now. But, uh, yeah, just, just exploring, decloaking things. Um, gotta get some fuel for that other log truck. I'm trying not to make too many episodes out of this thing. When you're recording at 60 FPS or 1080p, both of those make huge files. Ah! So, trying, trying to keep things short and clean. With not a lot of uh, uh, flim flam or anything. Okay, this is like a little backwoods trail type deal. Alrighty. Haha, <laughs> that never gets old. Take that, birds. Let's see. Go poop on someone else's truck. Yeah, I don't know if that thing will fit in there. Well, let's see where this leads. I see like a little opening or yeah I'm not sure this thing can whoop, gauge the things I'm not sure we can climb up there with this thing uh, we'll just trundle along here Cloaking. If we keep going straight, looks like we'll run right into it. Wow, that's a really useful view. Glad they added that. 
And that's not sarcastic. Yes, this is the right way. To the cloaking. Diff lock on. Don't need all wheels really, just diff lock will get us through this and save us some gas. Let's see here, diesel, or whatever this thing burns. Souls. Probably souls. I don't think it burns anything else. Oh man. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, this thing's not a great hill climber. There we go. Whoa. Cloaking somewhere over here, right? I don't see a cloaknado. Um, where's it down? Ah, there it is. Ah, we'll just slide down here. Not even an issue. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Going a little log cabin over here. Fuel depot would have been more useful. But what do we have? What did that get us? Uh, okay, we can see this here now. There's the fuel depot. The objective. That must be the volcano thing there. I'm not sure. There's fuel, cloaking, cloaking, cloaking. I really wish... Well, maybe we can try to hit that. There's the lumber. Man, we are a long way from anything. Bam! Oh! That was a big hit. If I could just drive through that lake. There's something over there. How deep is this? We'll find out. Oh, too deep. Okay. Come on. <laughs> what? Submarine. Come on. Oh, well, we almost made it. Mm, uh, well, let me uh, rescue this back to the garage. Let's see. Because there's no way we can rescue that from that water. Um, come on, scroll back. There we go. Yes. All right. Well, maybe I could get just a fuel cistern, garage carriage, carriage. No log cart. No. Let's remove that utility attachment. Bam. It just has a cistern trailer, garage cart, cart with crane, utility cart, long log trailer. Mm. I don't know, maybe we should try that fuel run again. Let me do tractor. Cistern trailer. Okay. Position your truck properly. Oh, I guess I can pull away from the, um, oh, park break off. There we go. Uh, there we go. Bingo. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's not let's not submarine this time. So let's actually look at where we are. So probably that's the fuel we found on top of the mountain. Probably the best way to go for some gas 
would be is over here at this one. I would bet that's probably easier to get to than that mountaintop one. So, oh gosh, this is a bit this is a bit janky. There we go. Move slow. Um, so if we follow this road out to the big road, maybe. Yeah, that'd be the quickest way there. Can we get through this little pass here? Is that navigable? Uh, no, rivers are navigable. Huh, we'll find out. All right, tally -o. Daylight's burning. Make sure we're going the right way. Are we hopping on the right? We are not hopping on the right road. Took a wrong turn right out of the gates. Smash! Out of my way, trees. There we go. Recenter the camera. This is not a submersible vehicle, as I have discovered. Um, not scuba. Oop. Cut on all the things. There we go. Hopefully I don't keep playing this game for like a year like Armada 3. I've really milked Armada 3 for all it's worth. I need to play another round of it though. I need to give the Klingons a fair shake instead of getting my rear end handed to me. Uh, I can't... let's see... So if I take this way, right? Or that way be even more better. That way might be better, right? Because it would... yeah! That might find out. Headlights on. There we go. Kind of an eerie swamp gas glow there. Alright, hello. What do we have here? Governor. The logging uh, the tuition with an outhouse. Sweet. Oh, right. Let me cut on all the things. Whoops. That sounds bad. That's okay. Yes, it's, that's a rather large outhouse. Everything's bigger in Russia, right? Uh, Alright. Make frequent checks of the map. So we hop through there, hop around there, and get dumped out right over there. Okay. Maybe. This could be completely disastrous. We'll find out. Maybe decloak some things while we're at it. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm getting back on a regular schedule. Hopefully, like I said, I'm gonna fire up Armada 3 here and play another couple of rounds of it at least. Uh, I keep going back and forth whether or not I want to try that other save file again. I've got some ideas, but I keep. Oh, well, that was um, stupid. Back up. Don't jackknife. There we go. Okay. Don't lose my trailer! There we go, alright. Perfect. Back on the road. Um, but yeah, either that or just start a new game with the Klingons and maybe only like one enemy this time, or two enemies. Uh, and an ally, because apparently the allies are stupid. Jeez, okay. Lots of little, uh, more buildings out this way than there are the other direction. More civilization, maybe there's more trucks. Oh. Perhaps there's like a glowing brick thing there. Uh, but yeah. 
It's a little rougher, I think. Let's go here. Oh gosh, no, come back. Oh yeah, it gets a little rougher in this part, and then we come through. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that looks like a big flat open road there. Well, reasonable facsimile of a road. Yes, that's exactly where we are. Okay. Good deal. We didn't have to go all the way around. Come on, you can do it. You're not even pulling anything. The trailer's empty. Hmm. But this is being recorded at, was it, today's the 18th, the 19th, 18th of uh, March, day after St. Patty's Day. Hopefully I'll have this up tomorrow. I will say this about the new workflow, it's a lot quicker, because the old workflow I had to convert from Fraps and in, into MP4 to import it into uh, the movie editing software I was using, edit it, convert it back out, and that just ate a lot of extra time. Um, the workflow I'm going now, I can edit flap, flaps, edit flaps, edit flaps directly, and um, saves a heap of time. Whole mess of it, if you will. So, that's nice. Cut off the flock so I can make this turn. Yeah, there we go. Alright, everything back on. Tally ho! Onward in places, things. Mounds. Uh, I guess we'll hit this cloaking. It's over here somewhere. Ah, I see it. Actually, I should probably back into it, right? There we go, okay. Okay, there's the world edge. Uh, oh, there are some more trucks. Fantastic. Now we just need to go get some gas. Because if I know this game, they are out. Oh, phone buzzing. Likely. Need to respond to some emails. Uh, let's see. Only way to go. Yes, we're turning right into where we want to go. But look, I'm going right where I need to. There's the big trucks. Yes, trucks. That's nice. That's a different truck. I don't think we've seen that one before. Okay. And go ahead and unlock both of those. In case we need them. all the things make it turn a little easier. There we go. Okay. Now turn them back on so I can get through this stuff. Alright, come on. There you go. That's got to be the fuel depot down there somewhere. Some trailers. Trailers. 
Heading right for it. There it is. Ah, it's actually like a gas station. Funny. All right. Beep, beep, fill her up, Charlie. There, all right. Let's get some, let's get as much gas as that cistern will hold. Fantastic, that's a success. This is a lot easier to come in and out of than that other one. All right, I think, oh. Good technique. If you're ever trying to turn an all-wheel drive vehicle in a tight space and you have an option to turn off your diffs, that is the way to go about things. Uh, go through here a minute. Login camp. Kenny login camp. Wait, no, Kenny Loggins camp. Uh, all right. Yeah, wow. Cutting off that diff lock, this thing turns like a oh dream. It takes five damage. Wow, five. That's not that bad really. This thing yeah, much easier to turn. Making pretty liberal use of on and off of the diff lock here. Let's go investigate these vehicular uh, instruments here. And see what we have. Hi, all right, what do we have here? Park brake on. Okay, change truck. Damaged, all right. What about change truck? Type C something, oh, okay. All right, no gas. Damaged pretty badly, but uh, all in all, not bad. I wonder, um, I wonder how this handles. Let me change truck. Let me stop engine, stop at burning gas. Not sure if that's really necessary, but makes me feel better. All right. Mm. That is a typical sort of road truck, it looks like. Let's go put some gas in it and take it for a spin. This might be easier to go exploring with. It's kind of in between the Jeep and the big trucks. Um, it'll fit in the tighter spaces, maybe. Let's get down here and fuel this puppy up. Oh wow, yeah, that drives a lot easier. Oh, okay, no, do not do that. Five liters a minute. I almost need to cut the diff lock on because it turned so used to the other one. Alright, let's pull in here. There's our gas. All right. Oh, there's a cloak. Let me go cut that off. Might as well take this thing out and see exactly how damaged it is. All righty. Remove cloaking. Bam. Gong. Alright, so we've got this, okay, we, we accomplished something. We've got this little area down here decloaked. 
Not bad. Needed to get this guy back to the thing and repaired. Hmm. Let's back it up here. And yeah, all this little peninsula thing. There we go, we are away. Tally ho. Oh, great, okay. Diff lock on to get out of that little spot. But, uh, yeah. Alright, we've accomplished something. I'm gonna call this an episode. This is episode 12 of Spin Tires. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, and I will see you next time in Spin Tires.